Hey Sunshine Buddies, I'm Megan and this is Sunshine Shredlines. We're at the Calgary Roundup Center for the snow show. Let's go in and check it out. So there's been a lot of hype in the industry about camber, reverse camber and regular camber. We have Jason Bros here to give us the deal on uh, how to tell which one to use and which one would be best for you. So can you basically tell us first what camber is? And Absolutely. Camber is the arc of the snowboard between what touches the snow. So basically, when you put a board flat, you touch here and you touch here. In the middle, it's raised. And that's to allow, when you stand on the snowboard, it gives the snowboard life and what we call pop. So when you, you ride, it makes the board snappy, it makes it lively under your feet and it makes it so that when you go off jumps you have lots of spring, like a springboard, you know, like a diving board. You got lots of life and it, it springs. The opposite of that, and what's newest in snowboarding and skiing, is called reverse camber. And what that is, is the arc goes the other way, camber goes this way, reverse camber goes the other way. And the theory being that um, the board is much more relaxed feeling under your feet, it uh, is a much looser feel, so it's better for beginners, novices. It, it doesn't... Um, uh, when you learn how to snowboard, um, one of the biggest complaints of people is that you catch your edge and fall. But when a snowboard has a pivot point in the middle, it's very loose. It's, it's got a very um, relaxed feel to it, so it's less likely to catch and you're less likely to fall. So, it's got a bunch of different um, benefits. Um, one is for beginners. The second one is for people who lo ride lots of terrain parks. They ride very slow and they need to do um, you know, very tight turns, things like that. It's very maneuverable snowboard. But one of the um, unexpected benefits is it's very, very, very good for powder, deep powder, because what happens is when you ride the snowboard and you lean back a little bit, you get so much lift out of the snow, you get this much more lift than a, than a regular snowboard. So you need a much shorter board, it's much easier to ride, it's much uh, easier on the legs, you don't get tired as quickly. There's tons and tons of benefits to riding a reverse camber board. But you'll find that lots of the professionals, they'll still ride traditional camber because it's more aggressive feeling, it's more of a performance snowboard. And that's sort of where the two camps are, are battling. Yeah, you're kind of getting two groups of snowboarders. Yeah, exactly. I'm here with Irat, who's with uh, the Albertan Biathlon Club, which is great because it kind of combines Albertan's two favorite things, guns and snow, which, how can you go wrong? So could you tell us a little bit about your club? Sure, well, we've been uh, in operation for almost 25 years now, and um, our job is to uh, try and promote the healthy and active, active uh, lifestyle and living through uh, a biathlon. Whether you do it from, uh, recreationally or competitively, it's, we have all the opportunities for you. So it's just uh, we're here trying to, you know, sell the sport to the people. Now the bottom trigger right here is your loading trigger. So you're gonna have to pull this trigger first uh, to load, and then black one is if you're firing trigger. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna load this clip in a second. So all you do is just you pull, you fire, you pull, you fire. One thing you wanna do: pull this one really hard because it's really stiff, and then make sure you look through this little hole right here which you'll see is a little black circle at the tip, the tip of your rifle. Uh, line it up with one of those black dots and uh, fire away. Tracy from Yamaniska and she's going to give us a few tips on going into the backcountry or inbounds backcountry like Delirium Dive. 
So what advice would you have for someone who's either going in for the first time or looking to you know, amp up their safety heading into the backcountry? Sure. Anybody that really is interested in heading into the backcountry, Delarium Dive or anywhere else that's out of bounds, uh, should really consider going and taking an Avalanche Level 1 recreational course. It's just a two-day course. You do one day in a classroom and then you head out for a second day on the field looking at snow conditions and things like that and learning how to assess the conditions for yourself so you can make safe choices, uh, learn how to use your beacon probes and shovels, how to uh, search with the beacons to find other ones and uh, it's also a good idea once they've learned the course to go outside and practice with their buddies. So that's it for the 2010 Calgary Snow Show. I gotta get back to the booth. I'm Megan and this is Shredlines.